Do you remember Google Alerts? Yeah, they're still around and they're still in use by a lot of people, myself included. Uh, but it turns out that threat actors are aware of this and have figured out a way to use Google Alerts to spread malware and scams. So we have seen a lot of traction lately regarding the use of SEO poisoning, and it seems like this trend is going to continue to escalate. Now recently, some personal research regarding the use of Google Alerts was published that illustrated how many malicious pages can actually show up via Google Alerts. Threat actors are using a method that phishers have used for a while called cloaking. Typically, phishers will hide a phishing page from a web crawler by serving up a redirect to a non-phishing page, and then a phishing page to actual visitors based on one's user agent. Now, threat actors are taking this concept to serve up web crawlers, content that will trigger Google Alerts. So essentially, the crawler gets a legitimate page, triggers a Google alert, but then the visitor is taken to a malicious page. These pages can still contain phishing-related content, but also malware and other scams. Now, the malware on these pages typically masquerades as software like antivirus, computer performance enhancers, or YouTube to MP3 converters. And not too long ago, I stumbled across one of these pages, and thankfully it was broken. So I was greeted with a nonsensical page full of word salad that would have been served up to a web crawler. Had the page been working correctly, I would have been served up a page full of malicious content. Except I wouldn't have, because I use a Corona Cyber Protect. It has a built-in URL filter that already detects malicious pages that fishers and other threat actors use, stopping them from loading. Now, had I been unlucky enough to download something from that page, I also would have had use of the advanced heuristic engine that detects malware like Gootloader, which has seen a lot of use in SEO poison campaigns lately. I can continue using Google Alerts or surf the web and not worry about this new push from threat actors. Oh.